Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play, another edition of Let's Play Zelda Classic. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I'm sorry if the audio is a little quiet on this. I'm trying to figure things out on this new computer I've got. Anyway, I, the quest I'll be doing this time is Maxi Quest by Matthew Blue Fox, also known as Zelda Deluxe 4. This has been a long time in coming, and let's just jump right on in. And the main gimmick for this quest is not so much that it's got new dungeons. There are new dungeons. It's just that it kind of takes this along the same vein of uh, Zelda Randomizer in that Hyrule low, low Rule Level X and 36 dungeons are in Zelda Maxi. Oh boy. So pre pretty much all of the dungeons from Zelda Deluxe 1, 2, and 3, which I guess is called Mini Quest now, they are all here, although from what I've been able to gather, the quests from ZD3 are not in the same locations that they were in previously, so I am going to have to find them all over again. Fun. Anyway, I guess... No time like the present to just start through some of these low dungeons. And as you can see, it's 1-1, one, one, and I guess it's 2-1 is the format here? Never mind, 1-2. So I guess it goes from 1-1 one, one through 5-9, I guess? Or 4-9, rather. I guess I still have randomizer on the brain. So, 1-1 one, one, the eagle. Might as well go through some familiar territory here. And I guess I have some new music, huh? <laughs> Fun. Seems a little bit creepy for a level one. But, oh well. And I do know where one, three, and one, four are. But that's pretty much all I know. After that, I am doing this completely blind. I have no idea. Oh, jeez. Well, hey, at least I'm getting some good money right off the bat. And I'm kind of curious as to what items I'll be getting and when. Considering I saw where basically... 2-1 is, and I think I believe I needed a candle to get there, so... And I don't believe it's available in the shop, either! Oh boy. Come on. Thank you. Have, having to re-acclimate myself to the half-stepping procedures here. Thank you. Alright, so no bombing through walls here at the moment. And the fact that I've got a gray tunic kind of makes me wonder. But maybe it just means the progression will be green, red, uh, green, blue, red? I don't know. So hopefully some of these guys will be giving me good information here. Preferably getting me information on how to find some of these later dungeons. And hey, a bomb. Thank you. So what do you have to tell me? No more shortcuts. Keys are now necessary. Okay. So I guess that means no shortcutting bombing through walls. Great. Just great. Ah. Well, at least the, the gels drop stuff. That's a pleasant surprise. And there's the map. Might as well see what we got up this way. And we got bubbles! Already! Both kinds of bubbles! The A button and B button, great! 
And that's another key. Well, that's good. Let me guess. Blue Garayas? No. Red Garayas and friends. Ooh. Was that worth ten? Well, that's great. And another bomb. Another key. So, what kind of lovely lovely item do we get here? And we get the bow. Alright. At least, uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Let's hope. Ah! Did not mean to do that. Wasting a dang bomb like that. I don't know why I pressed the B button anyway, but oh well. But hey, at least I got three arrows right off the bat. That's good, especially considering how strong the arrows are. That's my strongest, the strongest weapon I've got right now, and I'm wasting them on that, of all things. But hey, give me money, darn you. Uh, oh jeez, and how did I not get hit by that? Hey, for half half strip trick for the win. And boomerang, heart piece. Oh yeah, there's apparently a lot of heart pieces strewed about this whole thing as opposed to getting heart containers. That is definitely going to make these early dungeons a lot more strenuous crap. Well, that's just great. Now I have to go through this whole thing all over again, but hey, if I can get some extra money along the way, that will work out nicely if they are being generous, which they are not. Feh. Yeah, you can just go, whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and kill you. Just to get more stuff. Like maybe some more hearts, perhaps? Eh. I suppose after this, it's probably best to try knock out one, two. Ah! The snake should not spawn there. Mm. Uh oh. Oh dear. So did all of these guys? Oh wait. Come on, fairy. Well, it only did half a heart. Thank goodness for small favors, but that's all I get. Crap. And it was just... Just the one. Oh, no. Am I... I'm gonna die to this stupid Aquamentus, aren't I? Come on. Yes! Thank you! And what do we have here? Nothing. What? What? So I get nothing for that f at the end of that. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I'll get the boomerang here. Thank goodness I was able to get a fairy before coming back coming in here. Or else I would have been dead just now. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check the shop for prices on the wooden shield, on the magical shield. But hey, at least I got a dang boomerang now. That's always good. Yeah, I think I am definitely gonna want that magical shield. Like, now ish. Especially if I end up dying here. Oh, yeah. Well, okay then. You know what? I'm gonna see how much that stupid thing costs and go ahead and get some more money while I'm at it here. The fact that I have the boomerang will help me in that regard. But hey, more bombs. And that shop requires the candle. Heh. <laughs> Hopefully the the shield won't cost me too much. Hope that's hope. If it's 130, that's gonna suck. But if it's 100, I think that'll be fine. I can. I'm close to that as is. So, how much is the shield? 160. Crap. Um. Okay, yeah, I am not money grinding for that much. At least not on screen. Okay, so I'll just have to go without it then. But at least I have the boomerang, which will help. Especially against those stupid Uriahs. But that's pretty much all that I'll get for that. Uh, might as well open that up. And hey! More bombs! Thank you. Yeah, I have to be agile to deal with the stupid statues. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought those were the sword throwers. I feel a little bit better now, though the fact that it requires four hits to kill them is not good. Ooh, compass. And there's the blue Garias. And hey, money. So having the bubbles showing up in the uh, right away. That is very worrisome. More money. Might as well see what we got here. Oh, we got these kind of bats. Go ahead and kill you because you're easy to kill. So, what do I get for this? Nothing, huh? Aha! There is something. Boss key. Okay. Getting the boss key is always good. Although getting past that room with blue garayas in it near the end that I know is going to be there 
That is... Hopefully there's nothing required in that room. And hopefully I don't waste bombs on the way. Like... Wasting bombs going through... Oh! Oh! I was expecting... There's normally a Dodongo in this room. I am actually quite relieved that there is not. And that there's another heart piece. Okay, so... Killing everything in every room is... In my best interest. Because you never know when you might find a dang heart piece. <laughs> oh my... Oh, the fact that I'm still at three hearts worries me, but... I don't know how much I can do about that, though. But hey, at least I have the boss key, and there's not much else in my way... ...from getting to the boss. Oh, more snakes. Yeah, I am definitely money grinding to get the get the big shield before before the next video. There is no doubt about that. Well, the fact that I already have 120. What? Really? Another key? Oh! Oh, jeez. Those are the ones that make you do things against your will, huh? Isn't it? And, oh! Come on, let me survive the room, please! Th yay! So what do I get for this? Nothing! Again? Okay. <laughs> well, got through half of le the level ones. That's great. Um. Um. Hmm. I wonder. There's a spot here in the overworld that I can bomb to get a thing. At least, historically, I'm able to get a thing from it. Let's see if that is still the case. With the one bomb I have left. Really? No money from you, th from you guys? That's mean. Um, there's another sh type of shop down this way. Might as well see what we got. And green pea hats. I'm not sure what to make of those. So what do we have here? That that costs 130. Yes. It's cheaper. I'm getting. I'm buying it now. And I'm already getting some of my money back. Good. So, meanwhile, what I was initially going to do... There was a bomb spot where I can get... Where I was able, able to get a heart container in the past. Let's see if that still holds. Right here. Or not. Oh dear. So, it turns out that it's not there. Either that, or I misplaced, uh, mislaid the bomb. Okay. But... Hmm. Oh! Good way to test that out. Just to make absolutely sure... Okay. Alright. And, you know what, since I already know where 
where level 1 part 3 is. I might as well show that off. And as per other Zelda D Deluxe games, the the maze paths in the overworld have been taken out. Mostly for simplicity's sake. And on that note, what do I need to get through get into there? I need the ladder. Okay. So hopefully I'll get the ladder before I start heading towards the fives, I guess. And I also need the ladder for that. So can't even get the can't even get the white sword yet, and that is where one three is. But this is going to have to wait until next time, so until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.